Hi, this is Julie Harland, and I'm your math gal. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you could search for any of my videos organized by topic. All right, we're going to do this age problem. The sum of the ages of two cousins, Carlos and Maria, is 31 years. Three years ago, Carlos was four times the age of Maria. How old are they now? All right, so all we know is that their ages add up to 31 years. So let's draw a little chart to keep track of their ages now and the other time period, which happens to be three years ago. So let's see. We're talking about ages of Carlos. Maria and how old they are now and the other time frame is not in but three years ago. Three years ago. Think about how old you were three years ago. How would you figure out what that number would be? You would subtract three from whatever your age is right now. Okay, so the tricky part here is that their sum, the sum of their ages is 31. So one of them is going to be x, right? So it doesn't matter which one you let be x, that's up to you. So let's say we let Maria be x. You could let Carlos be x, it doesn't really matter. You define where to put x. Now, their sum is 31, so I know this has to add up to 31. Okay, so what goes in here, you have to think what goes in here, so when I add it to x, I get 31, and that will be 31 minus x. Because 31 minus x plus x is 31. Another way to figure that out is you have to say, well, if they add up to 31 and Maria's x years, you got to subtract x from 31 to figure out what's left over for Carlos. Okay, so again, it's going to have to be 31 minus x. Okay, so here's the tricky part. So how old is Carlos three years from now? So right now we've got the Carlos is 31 minus x. Three years ago, what do you do? You take his age that he is right now, which is 31 minus x, and you subtract 3 from it. So we could simplify this, but be careful. You're only adding the like terms. The 31 minus 3 will give you the 28 minus x. Okay? So if Carlos is 31 minus x now, he's 28 minus x three years ago. And plug in any number you want for x. For instance, if x was 10, then he would be 21 now, right, if he was 10? And that means three years ago he was only 18 if you plugged in 10 for x. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And how about Maria? How old would she be three years ago? Right now she's x, so three years ago she was x, have to subtract 3 from her age. So this is just to keep track of their ages in these two different time periods, right now or three years ago. Now we need to look at the rest of the problem here. Three years ago, all right, so we're talking uh, about what's going on in this column, right? How old they were three years ago. Three years ago, Carlos was four times the age of Maria. So three years ago, how old was Carlos? So we want to know Carlos three years ago. We know that would be the same. I'm putting that kind of quotes equal. The same thing as four times whatever the age of Maria was three years ago. Okay? And to figure out what to plug in, you have to look at this column, how old they were three years ago, not how old they are right now. So what was Carlos's age three years ago? This is the 28 minus x. Carlos, three years ago, 28 minus x. So we've got 28 minus x. 
is 4 times, and what was Maria's age 3 years ago? So we look right here, x minus 3. So that's the equation. The hardest part, of course, is getting the equation. All right, so now we need to solve this equation. 28 minus x. By the way, feel free to put the video on pause and try it all on your own. See if you could figure out how old each of them are right now. So we've got 28 minus x is 4x minus 12. And so we get the variables on one side, constants on the other. So I'm going to add x to both sides just so I have a positive um, coefficient in front of x. Remember, that's the same thing as plus 1x. And then I'm going to have to add 12 to both sides so that I have the constants on the left side. So I've got 40, because that's what 28 plus 12 is. 4x plus x, that's 4x plus 1x, so that's 5x. And then we all we have to do is divide both sides by 5. And we get 8 is x, or x is 8. Now, what did x stand for? Right up here, go back up to the chart. That's Maria's age right now. So, if x is 8, we know that Maria is 8. Maria is 8. And what about Carlos? Remember, their age is added up to 31. So, you know, 8 plus his age is going to be 31. Or you could do, from the chart, 31 minus 8 to figure that out. Carlos. is 23. So it looks like those are their current ages, but of course you always want to check your work by going back up to the original problem and making sure this makes sense. All right, so here is our problem. The sum of the ages of two cousins, Carlos and Maria, is 31 years. So the first thing to do, is it true that the sum of their ages is 31, yes, because 8 plus 31, I mean, sorry, because 8 plus 23 is um, 31, so we're checking. So first you could say, yeah, 8 plus 23 is 31, convince yourself that part's true. Three years ago, Carlos was four times the age of Maria. Okay, so three years ago, all right, let's write down what each of them would be. What would Maria be three years ago? She's eight now. Three years ago, how old would she be? She'd be five. Carlos is 23 right now. So how old would he be three years ago? He would be 20. So is it true that three years ago that Carlos was four times as old as Maria? Yes, because if she was five, five times four is 20. So it checks. So that means our answer here, Maria is 8 and Carlos is 23, is correct. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where you can view all of my videos which are organized by topic.